What's going on everyone? Jake Blaine here with Apocalypse Movies. This is Brian Avalosino. We are here for a trailer reaction to the brand new X-Men Dark Phoenix trailer that dropped tonight at 10 o'clock. A very late time for a trailer drop, uh, especially for a first one, but hey, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. Um, yeah, this is the brand new X-Men movie. This movie feels like it's been in development for a really Ever. long time. Um, it definitely went through the development hell stage with some stuff going on behind the scenes. Reshoot, did they reshoot the entire movie, blah, 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 we don't know. Um, All we know is that it's dealing with Jean Grey and her Phoenix alter ego um, to the maximum. We saw it in Brian Singer's original X-Men movies, uh, but this is taking it to a little bit more of an extreme, and they're really diving deep into this mythology of the Phoenix um, and Jean Grey and all the X-Men around here. Uh, James McAvoy's back as Professor X, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, Nicholas Holt, and all the other X-Men that were involved in uh, Apocalypse as well. So the Cyclops and Storm and all of them are going to be back as well. Um, we don't really know what to expect with this. We have no idea. We haven't heard really anything about it. Uh, we know that Jessica Chastain is playing the villain. Um, yet we still have no idea what she really looks like or what she's going to do. Um, hopefully the trailer dives deep into it. It's over two minutes long. Um, so it's definitely not a teaser. But we'll see how much it reveals. Let's check it out. You think you can fix me? You are not broken. This is the end. The end. Beautiful friend. The mind is a fragile thing. It takes only the slightest tap to tip it in the wrong direction. This is the end. She's so good. Charles. So concerned. Mm -hmm. What did you do? I had to keep her stable. Uh -oh. I protected her. From the truth? She's just good this time around mm -hmm. because of Apocalypse. I came looking for answers. Wow. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. She's a changer. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking Let's for solutions. Uh oh. Gee. She's the suits are killer. This is your fault, Charles. The world is on the brink. I'm sorry. I didn't stop it sooner. You're always sorry, Charles. And there's always a speech. And yeah. nobody cares. There's still hope. Don't do this. They're right to fear me. I'm not bad. I've seen evil. Dude, her face. Ooh. Interesting. Um, I gotta, I gotta say, I still kind of am confused as, as far as like what really is going on. Yeah. Uh, it didn't really detail anything like I was hoping it would. I mean, I get the gist. Like Charles made a mistake. She, she blocked her from her past of what she did because of her powers. She found out. She goes rogue. X Men try and fight her. Blah, blah, blah. But it's like, the trailer didn't really do a good job of doing it coherently, I guess you can say. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, the first thing I picked up was the music saying, this is the end. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like every comic book movie does that in some Maybe some it, capacity. But are we going to get more X-Men after this one? Well, they're going to Disney, so probably not. That's what not. I'm saying. But I, I think it looks good. I've, I mean, Apocalypse... I won't keep wanting to say Apocalypse. Apocalypse <laughs> was kind of a letdown for me. Oh, it was a massive letdown. The other two are awesome. I love the actors playing these characters. So do I. And that's the hardest thing for me, if this is the last one, knowing that these actors probably aren't going to be... Yeah, there. there's there's some very interesting uh, characters and castings involved in this. The Some of the, the big stuff, obviously, through these recent X-Men movies is... Jennifer Lawrence's mystique is now part of the X-Men because of Apocalypse. Yeah. She is now with Professor X. I thought Magneto was also a little bit on the good side, but he's almost he also looks like he's kind of gone back to the role in Apocalypse. I think it looks like he's going back and forth a little bit. I think well, he always kind of 
Yeah, but I thought they established in Apocalypse, and I may be reading this completely wrong, but I thought they established in Apocalypse that he was going to have a good relationship with the X-Men at the end of it. I think you, I think in the beginning he will, but then once he realizes Charles did some shady stuff, it's yeah. going to send him over the edge or something. I don't know. I... I love her as Phoenix. Sophie Turner. Yeah, yes. she's awesome. She's she, great. She's really, really good. It bums me out if they. This is the last one that we're not going to see more of her as Phoenix. They can always find a way to twist it if they really wanted to. Um, I don't think these people want to. A lot of them want to yeah. play the same character. I mean, who if they're given something more meaty in the MCU, you never know. Yeah. Who do you think is in the grave? Cyclops. I don't think so. I think it's Mystique. Hmm. Do you think it takes place at the end of the movie or the beginning of the movie? Beginning. I don't think Mystique dies in the beginning of the movie. I think she plays I think a big she, role. I think she dies beginning, middle. I think it's a lesser known character. Someone that is brought up. Maybe a Quicksilver? What if Quicksilver died? I think people would be pretty pissed. Yeah, but it's like you said, it's the last movie. What are they going to do? True. My um, only so... We've already seen Quicksilver yeah, die it's, once. It's exactly. <laughs> uh, my only concern going into this, like I love... The look of it, I love the characters involved. Super colorful. It's a very vibrant looking movie, mm -hmm. but that should be the way it should be with this type of art going, is Simon Kingberg directing. Now, he's a writer producer, he's involved in a number of projects, and, and in the past, writers who have gone to directing have had a very hard time with the transition, especially it being his first ever directed film, and it's a giant property like X-Men. It's his first one? It's his first one ever. That's Dang. what really, it doesn't, like, he's been involved, he's produced Rebels, he produced Clone Wars, he's involved True. in a lot of Star Wars stuff, he's produced all of the X-Men movies. Convenient for Disney. Yeah, it very much is, but that doesn't translate in directing all the time, yeah. and it could be a huge mistake having him behind this movie, especially with all the, the stuff that went on with reshoots and, like, BTS stuff, we don't know what's really, what really happened, but as of right now, going off of this trailer... Looks I'm cool. more excited than I was before the trailer. I'll say that. Yeah. I'll, I'll go as far as saying that. I like went up a notch. Yeah, I, I'm. it's trending upward in the books, but the trailer hasn't given me enough to be like, okay, I'm totally in on this movie. Weird time of the year for it to come out. I was thinking the same thing. It's only five months away. Well, and Valentine's Day. Well, a lot of movies are trying to push that forward, but I think it's because of all the reshoots that happened. I don't know. To they me, want to get it out to fans sooner than... The, and guess, Avengers is in, is in April, May. It's like, why go near that? Is it? Oh yeah. I guess it's in it's early true. May. They made to move it over to April, like last year. Who knows? But they're trying to stay away from all these monster movies that are coming out in the summer because who knows how X Men is going to perform now? True. We have no idea. Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Well, those are our reaction to X Men: Dark Phoenix, the brand new first trailer for the new and possibly last X Men movie in the 20th century as Fox Reign. Um, let us know in the comments what you thought of the trailer. Do you like it? Do you not? Uh, are you a huge fan of this property? Do you want to see this taken alive? Do you want to see it in the MCU? Head down there, let us know, give us some thoughts. Hit that subscribe button as well. More subscriptions equal more content on a daily basis for you guys. We enjoy doing this and we want to do it more, but we got to have the subscriptions in return. So for Brian, for myself, thank you for joining us on the trailer reaction today. And until next time, see you later.